The things I'm gonna say are probably pretty obvious, but they were not obvious to me. So I am sharing what I've learned over the last couple of months on how to recognize and fix clutter hotspots. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica Lucas. I post videos about minimalism, decluttering, mom life, and homeschooling. It's anywhere that you, you have stuff that just gathers and becomes clutter quickly. That's a clutter hotspot. So I have three clutter hotspots. So one is kitchen counter, one is my front window, and the other one is my desk. Those become clutter hotspots for me every day. So um, I have been working to not have them be clutter hotspots, but if I'm being honest with myself and with you, I need to work on it. I have four tips to help you reduce your clutter hotspots. So my first tip is to give everything a home. Keys, shoes, paper, um, stuff that you walk in the door with, stuff you need to walk up, out the door with. Give everything a home. My second tip, finish the task. I am super guilty about this with laundry. Oh, that's my fourth clutter hotspot, the laundry basket. Um, so finishing the laundry means getting it out of the dryer, folding it, putting it away and then putting the laundry basket back in the basement. Super guilty of not finishing that task. <laughs> My husband's really good at it. I'm terrible at it. Um, so the laundry basket has been known to sit on the floor of my bedroom for a day or two, three, and I'll put it away when I'm ready to do laundry again. <laughs> and I need that basket. <clears throat> so tip two is to finish the task to completion. Tip three is to centralize paper clutter. You don't necessarily have to declutter paper every day or every week, but if you centralize your papers, then when you need a piece of paper specifically or you are ready to declutter it, it's all in one spot. So I'm talking about receipts, paid bills, taxes, I don't know, whatever paperwork you have. Centralize it in one basket or one bin and everything is in one spot where you need it. Tip four, create a bag or a box that is in the closet by your front door or window or wherever you see fit, that is your box, as I call it. It is everything that you're gathering that needs to go out of the house. So library returns, returning something to a neighbor, and you gather it when you're walking out the door. Uh, maybe it's stuff that just has to go back in the car and you put it away on your way out the door. You take care of it. Thank you for watching, as always. If you have not already subscribed, please do so below and click the notification bell if you want to be alerted when I put up new videos. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please leave me a comment below any suggestions you have for future videos that you'd like to see.